Hi guys, it's me, Ivan Glamour. Now today I'm gonna go ahead and do a little tutorial with you guys on how I block my eyebrows and then I'm gonna go with all white on my face so that I can do a pretty intricate skull look. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a glue stick, make sure that it's Elmer's washable uh, disappearing purple glue stick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with one of my eyebrows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by swirling it and making sure I get it in all angles. Then I have a brush that I bought from e.l.f. that's just like this. I'm gonna comb it down. And then before it dries up, I'm gonna go ahead and comb it up. And as I comb, I press it down with the sides, just like that. Just make sure to take that gunk off. Um, I would say take it off on a makeup towel so that you don't get like toilet paper or anything stuck to your fingers. And then we're gonna go in with the second layer. And this one, I'll use my finger and just press it down and upwards. Don't worry, we'll go ahead and clean that excess up soon, but we're not done using the glue, so not yet. Usually at this step, I'll let that side dry while I go ahead and catch this side up. Before you go on with the next step, you're gonna have to make sure that you have some of this Mayron white setting powder. Now, I like to use the white setting powder because it has more of a coverage, and since it's white, it'll leave it more of a gray cast, which then we're gonna color correct. For now, I'm gonna grab this little container and fill it up with some setting powder. Now I have this mini buffer brush that I like to use to like pick up the white setting powder and it's very dense so pick up a big amount. With this eye right here that um already fully dried, I'm gonna just apply glue. Since we've already applied it downwards, um, please just keep going upwards or else you're gonna disrupt the flatness of like the covering of the brow. Now while that's still wet and purple, we're gonna go ahead and pack white setting powder all on it. Honestly, I look a mess, but <laughs> there is a lot of setting powder, so that is to be expected. Now I'm gonna quickly get a little pad to brush it off. I'll go ahead and catch this eye up. So 
what I'm gonna do is wrap the towel like that and then just clean under it carefully without going over the hairs. Now this will wet the glue and since it's water washable, like you could thin it out. With the top part, make sure to go upwards. I can already tell this one's gonna be a very good brow, but this one I'm gonna probably have to go back. So actually, let me go ahead and brush off the setting powder. I just have to clean it up and make sure that I take off that texture carefully. I know I do have it set, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it an extra pass so I can make sure that everything's covered. I'm gonna try to just keep it in that area also. Now, if you can tell, the second layer really did the trick on covering up my brows. It makes the gray less apparent, but it's still a little bit there. I did find this color corrector in Sally's. It's called the Palladio Under Eyes Disguise. It's like a full coverage concealer that's orange. I'm gonna put some on my finger and then make sure to densely put it over the brow. I went from having two big white brows to having one orange, one white. Now, if you notice, I densely apply it over the brow, but on the edges, I try to diffuse it so that it's not too rough when I do cover it. Now that I blended out the color corrector, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it with more white setting powder. I do know that there's an orange cast, but that will be covered by my white foundation. To be honest, um, it does its trick to cover the black strands of hair. I feel like this step is not always necessary, but it does help. Now, this is the part where I would either go in with my cream foundation and then just pat it or go in with the white foundation and that would give me the needed coverage to have like that base for my brows or whatever. I am gonna do eyes first, so I'm gonna keep this whole bottom part of my face clean, but I'm gonna just do my forehead and this whole section right here so that everything's in unison and it's ready to go. For this step, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Mayron Clown White Cream Foundation. Um, some of their products are water activated. This is not, 
as you can tell I've only used the littlest bit and I've already done quite a few looks with it a little goes such a long ways now my strategy with this is to apply it with this brush and then there's gonna be kind of a weird texture at first I go ahead and pat it down with a clean dry beauty blender and that does the trick for it to seep and like look great. Let me go ahead and do it so that you can see what I'm talking about. Just like that. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit more to have more coverage. I did apply the cream foundation and then I would tap it down with my beauty blender to make sure that it was all even. Okay, so all I need to do is set my face, so I'm gonna get a bunch of the white setting powder and just tap it all. Okay, so and that's how you go ahead and paint your face white, including my, your eyebrows. So you could really do anything creative like this. Um, I know it's not perfectly covered, but once you add shadows and all that type of stuff into it, you can do any cool design. And hopefully um, you were able to pick up some tips and tricks of how to cover your eyebrows. And I'll make sure to make a different video where I show you how I do my drag brows. And it'll be continuing off from that step where it's orange and I set it so that you can see it in that natural way and also in this like special effects mime white type of way all right so see you guys later